want to know what today is going to be good for? It's going to be good for fishing. We're going fishing. The kids are collecting worms and we're going to see if we get some bites. So hopefully we have supper. This is the plan. Let's we'll see how it goes. It is a beautiful June day. It rained last night. Feels like the whole earth was cleaned out. <laughs> the air is thin, much thinner than yesterday. It's gonna be in the low 80s and we don't have anything else pressing to do. So we're gonna do something fun and we're gonna take you along. This is the third one. That's a good one. Oh. oh don't. <laughs> If you're gonna fish, you gotta have bait. We got one grub. That's, that's a good one. Watch it. All right, we're gonna pound the Suzuki because it's muddy. Y'all ready? That's my seat, Clara. Okay, so well, right now it's mine. <laughs> so I'll share it with you. My, You're going to have to share. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Clara? And then fillet. <laughs> you got one, right, didn't step you? Up. <laughs> step up. Well, I'll be. Got it. Yep. What is this? Is that a brim? Yeah. It's a brim. Good job, sissy. Look at me. First catch of the day. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. This is good. Oh my gosh. Number three. <laughs> no, no you can't have it, Clara. I guess I would be held out the water night if you could. Or, wait. This one's a little too small, so you get to go back. Yeah. I know. Next year, maybe bigger. All right. Go. Grow. What'd you say? You mm -hmm. hadn't even gotten a nibble. Oh. I didn't even have one single one. I think you were going to catch me. Your sister, she has all the luck, doesn't she? <laughs> You'll get one. Um, so, I just got called out for calling the cork a bobber. What do you call it? Cork? Bobber? Float? Little red thing? <laughs> so, um, right now, the score is pretty high on my girl's side, but my son's going to start catching here in a minute. And as it goes, I'm just not really big into fishing, but I like being here and hanging out and helping and watching and taking pictures. So that's what I do. Well, Wesley decided if you can't beat him, you join him. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, she just got another one. This is like number 12 or something. <laughs> no, you can't. Claire's having a fine time. Even though this fish are worrying her to death. <laughs> what is it, girl? Gus, on the other hand, is not concerned at all. 
All right, Wes. Yay. And I got my 15th one. What's this one? Brim? <laughs> well, the hook's right there on my mom's. Dad, you going crappy. You got off. Crap. Crappy, crap, crappy. Oh, where is it Good job, buddy. Where is it? Where's <laughs> the one? Is that the one you want? You Listen at it. That's it. Bring him on inside. Get him on the back. Alrighty. It appears we found the honey hole. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, so now we're having an argument about how to say frog. I say frog. What did you just say? Frog. Frog. A frog and a log. And a, I do say dog. You got one of them, right? What'd you do with it? Frogs are talking, aren't they, Clara? Sound mighty close. So we were just noting how... It peed on Daddy and it pooped. That so, one worm has been has caught five or six fish now, six. and it's in disarray, but it's still working. <laughs> you can see how many more you can get. We're gonna call that getting your worms worth. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say we got a haul. Finally, it's my freedom. Got 19 fish. You got 19, you think? I, I believe you. I think you might have had more. Head them up and move them out. We made it back with a slew of fish. So now we gather the things. A case knife. A really good case knife. And what my husband calls a case knife. I call it a butter knife. And we clean them. Well, this has been a fun day. I have my seatbelt. So, while my husband cleans the fish, I have to run to town and do a few things. And then when I get back, we're going to fry them bad boys. Because it's just, it's the right thing to do. It's to fry them. And I'm starving, and I just happened to think in another video, it might have been last year, I mentioned NAMS, but I, excuse, excuse me while I go over the cattle guard. I never actually told y'all what NAMS were. NAMS are these, crackers, little packs of crackers. I believe the term NAB came from Nabisco, being made by Nabisco, even though these are not made by Nabisco. We still call them NAMS, so. If nabs are not a part of your life, they should be. They're great on the go snacks or lunch as it is at 345. Okay, y'all, it's time. It's time to fry some fish. I do need to make one little disclaimer. Normally when I fry fish, it's completely filleted and all the skin is off. It just looks like little white fish fillets. Well, tonight, what we have is this. Okay, so it has been scaled, descaled, scaled, however you say that, but it's still got the bones in it. My husband decided that's how he wanted to do it today. He was the one cleaning them. I'm just the one cooking them. So this is what we're doing. I'm gonna cook them the exact same way I would if they were completely filleted. Basically, we're just gonna take the fish, we're gonna drain the water off, and we're gonna use, are you ready? How sultry. Here we are again, how sultry seafood breader. It's all you need. I'm gonna put this in a bag. We're gonna put the fish in the bag with it. We're gonna shake it up and we're gonna deep fry it in canola oil, cause that's what I got, all right? Easy peasy, mac and easy. That's a saying where I come from. This thing of oil right here is big. I'm gonna have to hug it. 
Let's see if I can do this. This could end badly. No way. I got it. It's all good. Some good stuff right there. Support your canola farmers. That's what I'm doing. And as far as I'm concerned, fish. Fried fish is not a meal without slaw. And that's slaw that still has to be mixed with mayonnaise. And hush puppies. And this is, a, this is a bag that I've had because it's what I've been using. Because it's all I ever use. Household tree hush puppy mix. This has onions in it. A lot of times I will dice up some of my own onions and add to it. And they're amazing. So usually I will cook the hush puppies first. And then use the same grease and cook my fish. So I don't have to have fish tasting hush puppies. It all works out. Trust me. Alright, I got my grease heating up medium high. Uh, ish. I'll let that get hot and in the meantime I'm gonna mix up the hush puppy mix and then cook those and get going with the fish. This is not hard. It's gonna take a little time to cook all that fish. <laughs> Aren't you glad you don't have to wait? <laughs> I'll fast forward through that on here. So this hush puppy mix, one cup of mix, a half a cup of water, and stir. It's that easy. Okay, so after you mix up your hush puppy mix and your water, you let it sit for five minutes. So I grew up having fish fries. It's what we did a lot in the summer. My dad would fry fish and make hush puppies and um, it was great. But there was this one thing that he would always do when he was making hush puppies. You can see when it starts bubbling like that, that means it is, it's ready. It's perfect. I mean, it's perfect to cook. It will be perfect in just a minute. It doesn't take long. Okay. So you're going to take about a teaspoonful. Drop that in the grease. Rinse, rinse, rinse. <laughs> Try not to let the grease pop up on your face like it just did me. There you go. They're cooking good. Make sure they're not stuck on the bottom. Let them come up. And once they get brown on one side, then you're going to want to just do a little tap like that. And flip them. Hush puppies. Hush puppies, y'all. Hush puppies are amazing. You know what also is amazing? This shirt that House All Tree sells that says Southern as a hush puppy. I'm kind of in love with it, not gonna lie. Okay, this is not a slaw recipe vlog, but when I make slaw, I've just gotten where I just prefer it, just very basic. I just put mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of sugar. And I use real cab, well, all cabbage is real, but I buy a head of cabbage and shred it up in a little food processor. I just think it tastes better than the kind that you buy already cut up, but that works too. Duke's mayonnaise. This is not a commercial for Duke's, but it's the only mayonnaise I'll use. That is also a southern preference, I believe, <laughs> but it's amazing. So, yeah, we have a good little marriage starting here. I'm a mess. Now, we are going to drain the fishes. I'm just kidding. I know it's fish. I just like saying fishes for plural because I'm strange like that. All right, fishy, fishy. You're all drained. Get back in here. And now we're going to shake, shake, shake. Okay, so the most fun part, um, the only thing with these is that the fins are sticking through the bag. <laughs> if they were truly filleted, they would not be doing that. And this little pot is quite small. 
could be quite small for this amount of fish. I think I can do two, maybe two at a time. I was hoping for four. I think that was wishful thinking. Okay, the first two are out. This is what we got. Whole fish, fried up. It's hot. The fish I'm cooking here is mainly bluegill and brim. And I don't think I told you about that pond we were at. So that's a pond on our farm. We call it the moss farm. We could go into farm names at some point, but basically all of our our farm is named after people that we bought farms from, and that was bought from Mr. Moss. So it's the Moss Farm, and it's the Moss Pond. <laughs> and um, basically what we caught today was bluegill and brim and a few crappie. He did fillet some of the crappie for me. This is when I'm used to cooking it like this. See, that's different. Filet, not filet. Filet, not filet. I prefer this, but this is gonna taste good too. And like I said, you can cook them both the same way. Also, as the dogs come in, this reminds me, if you happen to catch a lot of fish and you happen to have dogs and you happen to clean them outside and they happen to be around and they happen to eat some of the fish heads, be prepared that that might not settle well, okay? Ask me how I know. Just trust me on this one. Not all heroes wear capes. Some shake bags of fish. That was dumb. I'm probably going to delete that. I'm not cooking all these fish, so I put them in a Ziploc with some water. And they are going in the freezer to be cooked at a later date. Maybe. Okay, just for reference. This is the crappy that he filleted. And that's what I'm used to cooking. So that's what fish completely filleted looks like <laughs> versus not completely filleted <laughs> we're done y'all think about those they still look like they're living they, they still look like they're living if they had their head they could probably still <laughs> no they're gonna be good here you go how about this that looks like it's dead <laughs> <laughs> well y'all all in all that went very well the fish was very well received. Everybody liked it. Nobody choked on a bone. We're winning. And this, y'all, are you ready? This is all that's left. <laughs> I'm very proud of my little, my little scales here. Not scales, what would you call that? Spines, spines. Yeah, anyway, I feel like it's something out of Garfield. That's it. This one's done. We're at the tail end. I've used that one before, hadn't I? I'm using it again. Catch you next time. See what I did there? Bye.